the unmet medical need in neurosciences is enormous. We're not good at treating neurodevelopmental diseases. We're not good at treating neurodegenerative diseases. We are trying to address that unmet medical need by developing better medicines. That is really what we do. My team actually is one of the platform groups within neuroscience, and we model um, neurological disease with stem cells. I think stem cell technology really is a, is a game changer for, for neuroscience because previous to stem cells, it was very difficult to get tissue. Um, it was very difficult to get brain tissue. Now that we have stem cells, we're able to really model human diseases more accurately. So in the past, we haven't been able to do a lot of research on human brain development because obviously most people want to keep their brains in their head. In general, you can't go into somebody's brain and grab some of their neurons if they're sick. There has really been a revolution here because we now have the capacity to take skin cells or blood cells and convert them into stem cells and take those stem cells and convert them into neurons. We can actually take skin from individuals and reprogram the cells and then grow that person's neuron in a dish. This is a, a central part of our discovery platform. I think we've made probably the biggest investment in this in the world. We are amassing a collection of cells from many different people with many different kinds of neurodegenerative and neuropsychiatric diseases. We're modeling things like Alzheimer's, schizophrenia. We're using a lot of automation to actually um, standardize the ability to grow stem cells and standardize the ability to differentiate them into neurons. We have taken a technology that was really very difficult to use and made it into something that is more or less routine for our teams. We're also building three-dimensional models of the brain. One of the very exciting projects that my postdoc Max is working on is the ability to, to build brain organoids. So you take these stem cells, you lift them up, and then you ball them into an aggregate so they form this nice sphere of stem cells. And then you, you add these factors or remove factors in a certain controlled way. If you look inside, it actually has a structure that very much looks like uh, an early developing brain. The first time I saw the, the, the organoids, you know, I was completely amazed that, that we could actually you know, do this in a lab. Probably the most exciting part is the natural organization that occurs, this, this layering, this cortical layering that we really haven't been able to model in other ways. In the short term, we're looking to just pr produce a disease phenotype. The dream is to be able to start screening compounds and see if we can actually have an effect on these disease models. The more we understand the disease before, we make the drug, and as we make the drug, the more likely we are to make a drug that actually will work in humans.